Hey everyone, I'm super excited about this one. We're going to get GPT, Mixtrel, and Gemini chat among themselves. So we're about to initialize one-on-one -on -one conversations here. GPT for Turbo will be talking with Mixtrel here. Mixtrel will be talking with Gemini. And here, GPT-4 will be talking with Gemini. Here, they will be discussing how to build a tower defense game. Here, they're discussing front-end frameworks. And here they're discussing algorithms, very, very hard algorithm questions that come up in coding interviews. So yeah, they get going. So they're just going to reset the system messages and everything and uh, started the conversation. So since they are writing quite a lot, this is going to take a minute. And now we're going to be saving the conversation into a, a JSON file. So we're going to take a look at how we can achieve this type of auto chat loops. So we're going to take a look at that implementation. And also we're going to take a look at an implementation which allows you to chat with any one of GPT-4 Turbo uh, or Mixtrel, also Perplexity and Gemini uh, in any combination. I have built a Python class called Unified Chatbot, which allows you to build these kind of systems very easily. All the code files here will be available at Patreon, but let's just dive into it right away. So I built a Unified Chatbot class using OpenAI API, Together API, Open Router, Perplexity API, and the Google API for Gemini, which allows you to build complex applications quickly. I also have this chat with any .py file, which allows you to chat with any one of the models. I do want to mention that Perplexity 70 billion online model does web searches and actually curates them as well. I'm going to talk about why I chose those and why the models, but let me also mention that we're going to take a look at the simple code on running how we can run Gemini, how we can run Mixtrel through Open Router, how we can run it through Together's API, and also how we can access the models that Perplexity's API provides. And I also have a class that actually deals with uh, GPT's API as well. So chat with any, uh, starts a chat with any one of the models. It asks you which model you want to chat with. Let's just select, for example, Mixtrel from Open Router. And now you can just say hi and it will respond. I'm going to say I'm making one of the funnest videos I have in a few weeks. So we are keeping track of the history of the conversation separately. So for example, it says this is exciting. I can actually change the model. For example, I can switch back to OpenAI and I can say hi. And now GPT-4 Turbo has uh, responded to me and I can change back to Open Router and, and I can ask what am I doing now? And Open Router responds, it seems you're currently working on a fun video for your audience. So as long as this class is running, this script is running, separate conversation histories are kept with each and every one of them. Let's change it to perplexity. Actually, I, I made a mistake. I was just supposed to say change and then change the perplexity. So perplexity is a search engine. So we, I can actually ask information about recent relevant information. I'm going to ask, when was Google Gemini model released? This is the 70 billion perplexity online model. It says the yeah, Google Gemini model was released on December 6, 2023, because perplexity searches the internet. If you haven't used perplexity, it's great. You can ask it anything, such as let's ask scientific breakthroughs of 2023. So it searches the map, web, curates the results, and gives you an answer. I'm a pro member, so actually you can turn on Copilot and use GPT-4 with it. But as a free member, you, I believe you also you have access to these perplexities, 7 billion and 70 million models. So I just wanted to try it all. So this is one way you can interact with this. There is also the auto LLM chat loop, which allows you to pick any two model and have them chat with one another. Let's take a look at how that works. But before I continue, like I said, these files will be available at Patreon. The basic files will be available for free at my Patreon on how to make calls to Perplexity to Together and Open Router for Mixtrel and Gemini and OpenAI, including this uh, class for GPT-4. Uh, these are going to be for free. And the Unified Chatbot class, which actually deals with everything, including separate memory histories and managing of the max memory for each message history. And the chat with any, which we have just demonstrated, will be available at $30. And the auto LLM chat loop, which allows you to have two models talking with one another, will be available at $50. Links will be in the description. So when you run the auto LLM chat loop, you get select the first API type, OpenAI, GPT-4, right, together and open router. So Perplexity and Gemini, I'm going to select GPT-4. And then now it's asking me to select the second API type. I'm going to select open router. Now it's asking me to enter a system message for GPT-4. You can enter anything here. You want a helpful system. And then now it wants me to enter one for Mistral 8x7 billion. I have entered that. 
And now I need to enter a user message on behalf of GPT-4 Turbo, which is going to be sent to Mixtro. I'm just going to say hi there. Oh, it said hi here. And nevertheless, so now these messages are added appropriately to each and every, to the message history, so both. And then they're going to continue having conversation uh, for, for the amount of iterations that is specified auto in the auto chat loop. Now, let me demonstrate something else real quick, because you can chat with Gemini too, right? You can have, let's say, Mistral chat with Gemini. In this case, you do have to enter a system message for Mistral, right? But then you can't enter a system message for Gemini, so it actually, the system checks for that, so immediately asks to enter a user message on behalf of Mistral to Gemini. Here, in this case, I kind of give the instructions right here, maybe in parentheses, so you can you can actually experiment with it and see see which work, whatever works for you. So let's start with reviewing the code. So GPT for turbo.py file actually is a main memory class which manages the memory with add message, get message, and trim memory uh, methods. It also saves the file. You can run this separately. It just it just this is a nice class which interacts with the OpenAI models. Gemini underscore chat.py actually connects to uh, Gemini model through the chat interface, which is very simple. So you do need to have, of course, OpenAI and Google Generative AI. Install, pip installed for this and also term color for colorful printing to terminal and then we have the together api backend and it, it, it follows the openai standard and you can actually use the openai library by changing the base url and you can actually stream with these i'll talk about why i picked together an open router so i just do want, i do want to mention this works actually if you run it you will see that we get streaming responses Sorry, I was still in running the other script. Let me run this again. As you can see, we are getting streaming responses from Mixtro, 8x7b, using from the together from the together's API. And uh, here is the one for open router. It does it has, it again uses the OpenAI library. Just change the base URL. And I th I believe this one doesn't support streaming, but I haven't dug deep into it. Now you can actually use any model, including local models by changing the base URL. Okay, so that's like the trick here. However, the perplexity API actually, I believe just requires a request library. So you do have to make your call like this. But the beautiful part is that perplexity API actually searches the web. So whatever you witness here in perplexity happens in the background and it actually sends you, I believe these answers. So which is really great. These basic files will be available for free at Patreon. Link will be in the description. Let me talk about why I chose Together. So, I mean, I was I was in between Together and any scale and Open Router, and I just went through checking them out as far as their interface and and their, and how much they cost. Uh, Together AI gives you twenty five dollars in credit, and Open Router actually has a lot of the models uh, free. I believe currently the mixed role model from Open Router is completely free. So I just signed up for it. It has many, many models, including Cloud. You can actually access OpenAI models through Open Router as well, including Perplexity models. So it's really varied and and flexible. And Perplexity's API is pretty simple. The only thing is that it offers Mistral 7B, 8x7 billion. You can use it, but its rate limits are not great. But there is this is one of the only places where you can access their search curation models. And actually, there's limited to 10 per minute. They actually had an hourly limit too, like a few hours ago. So they must have removed it. But you can only make 10 calls per minute. And it'll actually uh, do search the web and return you the uh, relevant results curated by the 7 billion or 70 billion model. And uh, you do have to become a Perplexity uh, Pro user that I have. And uh, after that, you get $5 credit uh, every month, I believe. So if, the, if you did want to use Perplexity, you do have to become a member. I mean, you do have to sign up and then you do have to get your API keys. And then after that, you should be able to use this uh, just as fine. But like I said, feel free to actually use your own API endpoints, even the local ones. All you have to do is just change the base URLs and perhaps the naming, naming conventions. So I just wanted to build a class that actually handles like memory management and model selection automatically. So we, here we are initializing memories for OpenAI together, Open Router, Perplexity, and Gemini. Set mix memory. We initialize the clients using OpenAI library. I've set uh, all these keys in my environment variables, but the environment variables are, are get uh, are retrieved by using this get API key function. So it either will uh, retrieve it from the environment variables, or you can enter it right here. It does some checks right here. Add message just adds the role and the content of the message. Trim memory actually uh, checks against this max memory, this which is a word count, 
and tries to reduce the earlier messages by popping them out, except if they are system messages. So we do check for that and we don't count system message as, a, as part of the count. So here our chat main will actually check our API type against all these models and actually make the appropriate call. Here we have the OpenAI chat. Here we have the Together API chat, Open Router, Perplexity, Gemini, and I also include the method to test each and every one of them. So the one, one caveat is that actually this Together code is working, like I said, but for some reason I couldn't get it to work here and I just spent hours on it. It should work in my opinion, but if you do figure out why this is not working, please do let me know. I'll make the necessary changes. But open router, so so instead of calling Mixtro from Together, we are calling it from Open Router, and you can also see what models Together have in their documentation. I'll put the link to these in, in the description. If you are enjoying my videos, you can check out my website echolive.live and search and find all my other videos. I have over two hundred projects. You can watch the videos here. Search for the content you're looking for, and if you are a patron, you can just click on any one of them and go to the code download links. And you can you'll be up and running in no time. Also, take a look at another app I built, CodeHive, which has 900 plus free GPT powered Python chat applications. You can just click on any one of them, and there's the code. It's www.codehive.app. I'll put the link in the description. Make sure to put the W's in front of it. I, I, this is something I'm supposed to fix, but I'm being lazy about it. So, because we build our unified chat class so neatly, we can actually just call it and we use the term color for colorful printing and we specify API types by the API type and whichever model we're accessing. You can change these any way you like. And then we simply print them to the screen. So for a user to choose, here is your system message. If you want to modify, this is for one-on-one -on -one talk, like when you are talking with the models. If we run this, you'll see what is happening. It will print out using this, the model selection, and then it will print welcome to the unified chat and we'll call that function and list it up and it will ask you to enter the number of your choice. Then if, if it's Gemini, we don't add the system message. Otherwise, we add a system message and we take user input. And we, we, if, if the user says quit, we quit, such as like this. Uh, I'm not sure why that happened, but it works during the chat. And change will allow you to change your model, as you have seen. And then other than that, we just keep calling the chatbots chat.main, and chatbot is our unified chatbot. And that's about it this file and the unified chat will be available at patreon for 50 dollars now let's take a look at the real beauty which is the auto llm chat loop i'm also building the everything gpt api crash course the link will be in the description but it talks about all the basics along with video file video description files so this is really helpful both to learn and also to uh, actually have code examples you can go by like i said every File should eventually have a video description. Some of them still missing, but I also cover assistance, DALI, text to speech, and vision speech examples, and also instructor as well. Link will be in the description, but you can also find the code download link from GPT Masterclass from my website, and then you can download the zip files for all the codes, all the lessons. So the Auto LLM chat loop again relies on the unified chatbot. We do import JSON and uh, color from term color. This is, of course, to print the API types. Again, we have the API types dictionary here, and then we first, we first select the first API type, and then the second one, and then we just run the messages accordingly, and then we initialize the system messages accordingly, then take user input, and then run the loop for, this, for the amount of time that you specify. But like I said, all the code files you see here will be available at Patreon at the $50 tier. Thank you for watching, and I hope you liked it. Let's just demo the auto LLM chat loop one more time. So here you select your first API type. Okay, again, let's select, for example, Mistral for the, for the first part. And for the second one, you can also select Mistral again. And then you enter system message for the first Mistral. I'm going to skip. And then for the second one, uh, oh, I'm sorry. If you select the same model, you only get to enter one, one system message. Yeah, I believe because I, I, I sent an empty message, we got an error. And I'm getting some really a lot of empty lines, but I'm not sure why that is happening, but the conversation goes on and when it's done, it's actually saved to this auto chat messages.json and it's saved in both in the, the respective models histories as because the models swap, right? They switch. Thank you for watching. And if you like the content, please like and subscribe. Do let me know what you think. 
either in the comments or if you like talking about large language models, join the Discord. I'll put the link in the description. And happy coding. See you in the next video.